So this is just merged into the side of it. Oh, God's sake. Save the clip. Stop really. We've well, we got, no, we got the cameras. We will. Because okay. I'm just going down in the straight line. I'm not I'm not merging, you see. Oh, yeah, okay doll. Let me just make sure I'm tight enough. Right. She's okay. Not the main thing. I know before you say it, I didn't do that on purpose. Because I know there's going to be drivers out there, especially on Twatnet, saying I did it for dramas. Well, no, I didn't. I didn't see her. But, uh, yeah, she's okay. I've got some damage to the wagon, which is going to need fixing because it's been mounted to the step. The steps have broke off, and um, there's the metal plate on the step. It's only like thin aluminium. too much because there was cars there and I was jumped on the brakes but she, she didn't stop she just kept on going what the hell was that well I didn't that's a that's an odd sound to hear that normally if you go over something you hear dink dink but I only had one and it felt like it was from the front. I'm going to have to pull over as soon as it's safe. 
Right, sit rep. That bang, I heard it, I heard it again. So I pulled over, I've had a look, I can't see anything wrong and it's just done it twice more but I feel it. So I need to stop somewhere but I can't really stop here, I'll just cause traffic chaos. So I'm just creeping along to find somewhere where I can stop that safe. But bad luck, there's, maybe there's something snapped behind the wheel, I don't know. But it sounds like a big clunk sound and I feel it. Right, let's go see if we can have a look together underneath this time. Right, as we can see, damage, damage, damaged. That's that one in your plate. Damaged, damaged. Place to be. Can't see anything down there that looks damaged. Okay, another sit rep. Um, I can't see anything wrong with the wheel, any cross members underneath. Anyway, uh, so I've called the boss. He says there's a daff not too far away from here, but he says for safety reasons, get, get them out um, and get him to check it out. So. Hopefully, well, they said they're going to be out an hour. It's not DAF coming out, it's another company on behalf of DAF. So I've got to wait for them now. They said about 60 minutes. Uh, that was about half an hour ago. But I'm expecting it could be a little bit longer with the traffic. But um, if he says he can't find anything wrong, and it, if he wants to sign if he signs it off as safe, I, I will carry on uh, and then get this, in a, get it in a garage. And get it proper inspected but um, if he says it's safe then I'll carry on my milkshake I'm gonna have that now I think it might still be frozen oh yeah still frozen she's got ice on the outside now there you go proper good fridge so we'll get some tissue for that to sit on and I'll leave it on the dashboard and let oh, the, the chocolate the biscuits so um, we'll let that melt a bit and then we'll have that. I went to MDs, I stole some straws. Update number, whatever the update number is. Anyway, when I'm parked here, it's a dealer drop off place. It's where people keep doing the, uh, the wheelings and dealings with the drugs. Because uh, a car, same car pulls up on the other side of the road there. And then a car will pull up in front of me nip over, open the door, get in, two minutes later, no, two minutes later, a minute later, get out, get back in their own car, and then both cars do one, then same cars come back. So this, this must be a place where people do the drugs, or sell them. Anyway, that's by the by, just an observation. Uh, the reason I mention that is because uh, I've just had Daff Aid call me back. And now bearing in mind, I've been waiting for uh, nearly two hours. Uh, in, and they said it's going to be an hour to get to me. I rang them back up and they said, oh, he's on his way, he should be within five minutes. I think that lady should work for um, a taxi company, to be honest, because she, I think she just made it up. Uh, anyway, and uh, I don't think it was the same one, or somebody rang me back and said that the, the technician's stuck on in, in Jaguar Land Rover somewhere. I don't know what he's stuck with. She said something, but I didn't really understand it, so I just said, oh, okay. She said, it's going to be another... Uh, what she say? 90 minutes to two hours. Uh, so I just said, well, she said, you're in a safe location after the accident, aren't you? I said, well, yes, but it's a bit of a dodgy area, obviously with the drug dealing going on. Um, so I'd rather not stay here. Uh, so she said, right, I'll give you a call back in a minute. I'm going to uh, ring the dealership up and see if they can send the technician out from there. So I said, well, that'd be great if you can. Uh, I just need the all clear basically. Um, I just don't want to drive it. It's not safe, so um, I, it's the right thing to do. Don't want to endanger myself or somebody else. To be honest, if that wheel falls off. Not that it probably would. Uh, no, not, not, not that it would. But if it happened and I knew about it, then who's to who's to blame? Me. And if 
I was to ignore it and carry on and then if something was to happen and someone got injured or killed, I don't think I couldn't live with myself just because I because I knew. I knew what's going on, you know, I knew there's something wrong with it. Sit rep number whatever it is. It's nine o'clock. I was waiting for a phone call back. Didn't get it. It's not I'm not gonna get a phone call back. Oh, just turn the camera off and look what's turned up. Didn't get no flashing lights though. I want flashing lights. Right. Yay! I got flashing lights. That's <laughs> only kidding as well. Right, I've just spoke to the guy now. He's just uh I don't know if I put my gloves on, it's just automatic because the wagon's filthy. Um he's just gonna um phone Daff Aid now and let them know he's here. He's just had a look under, he can't see anything. He said, but he's gonna jack it up, spin the wheel and see if he can hear anything or find anything or see if it's not the bearing or anything like that. Um but he says he can't see anything. I mean I couldn't see anything before. But um as long as as long as he says it's okay. I'm happy to go with it. Right, we're done. Um, he has done a visual inspection. He's checked. He's jacked it up, spun the wheel, uh, checked the ball, the bearings, uh, kingpin. He's checked everything there. He says he can't see anything wrong. He says it doesn't mean there's not nothing wrong, but he says he's. He says the wheel's not going to fall off. He says that's for sure. He's checked all the major things there. He says he can't see it. He's had a good look round for you know, like plastics or pipes or anything else that could be loose. Um, uh, he can, you know, that's all he can do really. Um, at the side of the road, um, I mean, I couldn't see anything anyway, but I think it's best to be on the safe side and um, get it checked out by a professional, which is what I've done. Uh, so now I'm going to get off this road. I don't like it at all. So I'm going to go and find somewhere to park up away from here. Right, we're actually near one of our, one of my regular customers, so I'm gonna go and park down near there. It's an industrial area. It's just down the road, literally. Right, finally here at Daff. It's a random bike stood up there on its own. I've only got no vans. I can see some there. Oh, it's a part. No, one of them's a parts van, and one's a courtesy van. Oh well, never mind. It's a taxi book now. Right, somewhere park, somewhere park, somewhere park. Not there, not there, not there. Ah, uh, about here, next to this tanker. Perfect. I'm not going all the way back, I could do, but I'm not going to go all the way back because the taxi needs to get the fridge and stuff, so I want to stop a bit further back. Yeah. Right, first thing you need to do is write down the mileage in kilometres, which is 175,000. Uh, 947. Right, let's quickly pack my shit up. 